I've got peas, lettuce, and it's winter. Perfect. Welcome to Moggy Box Craft. I'm Debra, and this is going to be winter edition in the garden, the greenhouse, and what's happened since my spring and summer garden in the northeast of Scotland. So sit back, get yourself a cuppa, and let's get into what happened in my garden in winter in 2019 going into 2020. Enjoy! It is the 3rd of September 2019 and I've got some leftover cloves of garlic and I've just popped them into some water and we're just going to leave these guys in this water to sprout and then we'll plant them in the raised beds for winter. 8th of October 2019 Passion fruit. He seems to be doing okay. The cucumber plant is still growing. I have completely pretty much given up with the peppers. <laughs> I think I just need to pick them. Oh, there we go. So peppers. So I've got aubergines here and here. I'm going to leave them where we want to see what they do. So we've got jalapenos, Hungarian and cayenne peppers. They're just going to get left in the greenhouse over winter, see how they get on. I will harvest maybe the geese green peppers. They're supposed to go red. I think it's just too cold in the greenhouse at the moment. Got a nice one in the back there. Tomatoes are starting to go red. I've had a lot of splitting on some of the cherry tomatoes. Who are you? I don't even know which ones are which. It's starting to go slightly red. But I've got so much tomatoes there. Those tomatoes are still very green. We've got a few tomatoes down here going red. Oh, high slug. Strawberries. They're just chilling out for winter now. Oh, Hungarian black chilies are starting to go red. I really want to like harvest these, but I also really want to seed save from them and try growing them next year. So in here I've got some garlic. Courgettes at the back. The pumpkin hasn't fared very well. <laughs> it's disgusting. But he is great bug food now. Parsnips are fairly spreading out. So is the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are starting to look like they could be edible, although they do look they've had a good infestation of insects. We've had a lot of bad weather recently, so I've had to prop up all the sweet corn. Sweet corn is starting to look like it's going to flower, but I think it might just be a bit too late for them. So the mask of cauliflower in here, I'm just going to leave and see how he gets on. We're just going to leave the rest of the garden to die down over winter. And I managed to get my pear off my pear tree. One pear left to pick. I'm a little bit concerned about my apple tree. So we're going to pick these apples. So we'll give him a really good prune back. This is the, our first pear we've ever got in from our pear tree. I'm going to give him a try and see what he's like. I've harvested some of the tomatoes. I've got a pepper. Here's our harvested apples. Tidied up the cucumbers as best I can. I don't think they're going to last much longer. Tomatoes are looking pretty scarce now. Last tomatoes on the vines. Maybe they'll go red, maybe they won't. The apple tree has been all tidied up. I've cut them right back. What is all these holes that you keep digging? Chico, why are you digging all these holes? Or is it Pele? I don't know. See you in two weeks. Well, it's the 5th of November 2019 and it's winter here in Scotland. I've been waiting for a nice day to be able to do the garden and it's finally a nice day. It's been about a month, I think, since I talked to you guys last. I'll give you a little tour of the garden and I suppose we'll go from there. That's how the greenhouse is looking. Passion fruit plant still looking okay. I'm going to leave him where he is, I think. The cucumbers are definitely over it. Oh, don't mind this stuff. This is Andy's apple cider press for making cider. Peppers! Just left them to do what they want. I've got a few here but of course none of them have gone red. So we've got a few peppers here. And they are. A little pointed pepper down there that's done nothing. Will I just leave those guys? I might leave those guys. All the tomatoes have just been a bit of a disaster. Um, nothing's really ripened and I've had lots of slugs and things coming and eating things. Apple tree. He's not doing a whole lot. These guys I'll move just tidy up. Aubergine, more pepper plants in here. I've got a few little ones there, so I think I might just leave these guys to continue growing. And then down here we've got cayenne chilies. So we have got a few cayenne chili at the back there. I want to seed save from this Hungarian chili. Jalapenos, not doing a whole lot, gonna leave them be. So that's the greenhouse. Yeah, all the leaves have very much fallen. I am going to hoover the garden today, I think. All the rest of the garden. Definitely going to have to do some clear up down the air. Olive tree, he seems to be fine. Not sure what to say about the rhubarb. 
they're not very happy completely battered with the weather and the dogs keep eating the soil like this what is this Anyway, all along here, this is going to be all flowers next year. I just need to get Andy to build me like a little container -y thing to hold all that. It's the patch of courgettes. They definitely all need taken out now. So garlic is starting to grow. Pumpkins never came to anything. Parsnips. Again, we're still waiting for the frost. Brussels sprouts are looking okay. Some more Brussels sprouts. So I guess we'll just leave them to grow and see what happens. I think we've got to accept the sweet corn outside has just <laughs> not really worked cauliflower hasn't really done much but i'm just gonna leave him in here and hopefully he'll be he'll be fine in there i have been having a very busy afternoon and i think my garden is finally looking ready for winter so that's how the greenhouse is looking now I've left the passion fruit plant where he is. I've just moved a few things around. The Hungarian pepper, jalapenos, cayenne pepper. I have left some of the aubergines here. I don't know if they'll be okay or not, but we'll see what they're like over winter. Down here is all the different varieties of pepper plants. And I've just taken in a few things from outside to protect them for winter. Strawberries have just been left. I've got mint, more mint and curry plant. So my winter plan down here for these three tubs, some winter lettuce and peas, October to December. I thought I'd give them a try in the greenhouse. I've also got a slug barrier. What I'll do is I'll start the lettuce and the peas off in these little pots in a propagator. And then what I thought I would do is pop them in there, in these little buckets down here. I've pulled out all the crochets. Garlic's looking fine. Tidied up some of the Brussels sprouts and things here. I've taken out the sweet corn. Cauliflower can just live happily there. All mixer pots and things I've just popped all the way along here. I've given the garden a really nice hoover. So it's all looking a whole lot tidier. I've also given my compost bins a good mix. These are my compost bins. The leaf blower thing I have like sucks up leaves as well and it mushes them at the same time. So I've popped them into my compost bins. I'll just pop the lid on, get the thing on, snap it into place. And then we've got holes in the bottom to help it drain give it a little push along the ground to help mix it and I'll just scatter these up and down here to feed the trees and plants and berry plants throughout the winter so I'll pop them in place there and I'll just pop a few down here And the decking is looking very sparse. I just need a bit more soil, but I'm gonna plant up the peas, the winter lettuce, and these little pots. So that's my little garden update for the start of winter. It's the 11th of November. And yes, I am sat with a cup of coffee in the bathrobe in my greenhouse because it's cold, okay? It's Scotland. Today, I'm going to be dealing with the winter veg. I've got peas and I've got lettuce. I don't know if this is going to work in Scotland, but I feel like we should give it a try. So I've filled my little pots with soil and I've already put in little markers. Now I've took some of Andy's yogurt pots, cut them into slices and then write on them with a sharpie marker. This is the peas I'm going to be planting. It does say so October to December, so we'll see how that goes. How the peas look, four in each one, because I just don't hold out much hope. Just squish them in the soil. <laughs> cover back over. So this is the lettuce I'm going to use. That's how the seeds look. Pop them in as well. To make it easier, I'm just going to tap them out the packet, I think. What's the chances it actually works? Oh my gosh, they're going everywhere. I'll separate them later if they actually come to anything. Covered over all the little lettuce seeds. I've got my propagator grab box on a cardboard box just for a little bit of insulation off the ground. Right, so I'm just going to water these in. Pop the propagator lid on. I'll get back to you with any changes, I guess. It's 1.50pm on Sunday the 22nd December 2019. Well, I haven't done a, a garden update in a month or so. Hmm, whoops. Um, I've been too busy with the Christmas crafting. As it's nearly Christmas, I need to go and see if I've got any harvestable parsnips and Brussels sprouts for Christmas. You'll have to bear with me today. I had my works Christmas night out last night and I'm a tiny bit delicate. What's been happening in the garden? The decking's looking pretty grubby. The Christmas tree's up in the corner. All my strawberries need a bit of a clear out, to be honest. They're all looking pretty grim. Bit more fallen leaves again. My poor cherry tree is looking very bare. He's lost all his leaves. But this guy's fairly grown, so hopefully we'll get a bit of coverage from him soon. The garden's looking pretty sparse at the moment. Passion fruit seems to be 
still green, which I'm quite surprised at. A little update on the winter peas. This is all they have done. I think that's been about two months. I have to double check when I planted these guys. As for the lettuce, not a cheap. I did sort of think a couple of weeks ago I seen something in there. And I think they've all been eaten by slugs. Jalapenos, chilies. Everything's looking pretty grim at the moment. Okay, the aubergine I might have to do something about. I might just get rid of all the pepper plants because they're looking pretty grim. All the walls need a proper scrub down. Not sure how these apple trees are really doing. Maybe they just want to be outside. Well, we'll just put those outside. Let's just pop them there. I haven't put anything in these because obviously I've not got peas or lettuce. So there's nothing in the cold frames. Garlic seems to be doing okay. We've had a couple of frosts, so I'm really hoping that they will split nicely for next year. We've had a few nights with quite a lot of wind, so this cold frame actually blew over on top of all this. Today I'm going to be digging up the parsnips and harvesting Brussels sprouts. This blew over and totally squished the artichoke. Cauliflower, it's there. What can you say? Grass isn't looking fabulous. All along, along here is looking very bare. So I'm going to get to work. I have about an hour or two of daylight max to get all this sorted. And I think that's a helicopter. Hi helicopter. It is 3.19. We better do this fast because the sun is fading. I've harvested all the parsnip and the Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure if any of these will be any good or not. That's what the Brussels sprouts are all looking like. Parsnips are just up here. So I'll hose them off. Are they meant to be this big? But that is how the parsnips and the Brussels sprouts are looking. I'm going to cook them for Christmas dinner. Gosh, is this going to be like the Blair Witch Project? <laughs> 3.48. This is the 22nd of December, so it's the shortest day of the year. So from here on in, it will get lighter. I'll be using my handy dandy torch on my phone to hopefully show you what I've done today. I've just tidied up the right hand side of the greenhouse. I've also planted some winter peas. Put down a bit of felt and mixed in some plant food under here. So we'll see how they get on. So I've left the other ones in the propagator, so we'll see how they go. I've tidied up all the strawberries. All the rest of the garden is tidied up. Not really done much in the rest of the garden. Tidied up all of the strawberry plants. So hopefully they'll be a little bit happier. The dogs didn't want to come outside. They're patiently waiting for a walk and then their dinner. So it is Sunday the 5th of January 2020. To be honest there hasn't been that much changes since my last little update. Passion fruit plant seems to be doing okay. We've got some winter peas and winter lettuce. The winter lettuce has been eaten I think by slugs. The winter peas have done something in there though. I did actually replant from there into here. Oh and can you see there is a little slug on there. Get off. Dude you can't eat my plants. Winter peas here. You can see the slug trails here. So there's definitely been slugs in here eating this. They're doing okay otherwise. I'm going to leave them in there to grow and hopefully get better. Everything's kind of looking okay. I've cut back everything in here. Yeah, the chili plants aren't done just too well. So yeah, not much change in the greenhouse. Raised beds. This is the garlic here. I've had quite a few frosts, so I'm hoping they've split pretty well. This bed's completely empty at the moment. The Ramasco cauliflower, if I'm saying that correctly. It's actually starting to grow. Masco cauliflower is actually growing. So we're just going to leave them in there. So maybe he'll do okay next year when the spring comes. The rest of the garden is looking. Looks so dead. With no leaves in the middle of winter. I shall leave you here. I hope you've enjoyed this winter update in the garden. So please do subscribe. I will keep you updated in the coming year and seeing what happens in the garden in spring when I start planting up and all those good things. See you next time guys. Bye!